So today I'm going to really quickly show you how to make these little flowers. These ones are called the anemone flower. So they're nice and simple and you can use any yarn weight that you like. I'm just going to be using some ordinary Color Crafter yarn and a 4mm hook. But you can use anything at all that you like. So you want to start off obviously with your slip knot as always. And I do have a nice little tutorial for that if you need it. And to start off with, we just want to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch to create a circle. So pop your hook into that very first stitch and slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both. And that now has given us a little circle to work our next stitches into. You then want to chain one and that is going to count as a double crochet. Now remember that's UK double US single. You then want to chain three, so one, two and three and then we're going to insert our hook back into that center circle and do a double crochet. So insert, yarn over and pull up and you'll have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. And then again you want to chain three, one, two and three and back into that center ring again and do a double crochet so yarn over and pull up and yarn over pull through both and you're going to continue that until you have got eight of these little loops so if you want to do that another six times and then I will meet you just as you finish your chain three for your eighth and final time so I've done seven and I'm just about to start my chain three for my eighth and final one. So one, two and three. And if you remember at the beginning we did a chain one which counted as our very first double crochet. So you want to find that chain one that you did which is just here. And you're going to insert your hook into that chain one stitch and slip stitch. So pull through both. And that is our very first round done. So you should have eight of these little chain three spaces. You're then going to slip stitch across into this very first chain three. So you're just to the side of it at the moment. So you just want to insert your hook into that first chain three space and slip stitch. And we are now going to work the exact same stitches into every single one of our eight chain three spaces. So you're going to slip stitch in, you're then going to chain three, so one, two and three and we're now going to do a double treble. So remember that's double treble UK. In the US this is your treble. So you want to yarn over once and twice and then insert your hook into that same chain three space yarn over and pull up and you will have four loops on your hook you then want to yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then you want to chain three two three and then again a double treble so yarn over and yarn over back into that very same chain three space yarn over and pull up yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two chain three three and then you're going to go back into that same chain three space and slip stitch so yarn over and pull through both loops so that is our very first complete petal you're then going to slip stitch into the next chain three space. So slip stitch into there and we're going to repeat that again. So I'll do this next one with you. So chain three, double treble, so yarn round twice, insert and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Chain three, double treble again, Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, chain three and slip stitch all back 
into that very same chain three space. And you're going to continue doing that into every one of your chain three spaces. So if you want to rewind, then do that now. But I will meet you just as you come to your eighth and final petal. So I've just done my final double treble and chain three, and I'm going to slip stitch now back into that same chain space as normal. And I'm then going to do a little chain one. And then I'm ready to snip off. I'm going to pull that out and then pull down to tighten up. Then all that's left for me to do is to sew in this long end. But that is it for the flower pattern itself. I really hope that you like it. It's one of my favourite flowers. You can obviously use any colour that you like as well. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this one guys. And please remember to give me a quick thumbs up if you did. And to subscribe for all of my future videos. But I will see you again soon for another tutorial. Bye for now.